This time I want to talk about some martial arts material from a particular online source. I've been in contact with Martin Ostwick, also known as Oz, who is the chief instructor at the English Martial Arts Academy in uh, Guildford, Surrey, which is about 45 kilometers away from London, so UK obviously. And um, he's been kind enough to give me free access to the learning material that he has on his website, pugilism.org. Just to get that out of the way, no, this is not a paid promotion. I don't do stuff like that. Uh, he did offer me a, an affiliate collaboration where I would get a certain percentage of the sale when I refer people. And I appreciate that he did, but I really don't want to do that. I mean, it's just not what I do on this channel. When I give you a recommendation or when I do a review or something, it's just my 100% genuine opinion. Subjective, of course, to an extent, but you know, it's just my opinion. I don't want any money to be involved in that directly. That would, you know, where people would think that I might be influenced one way or another. The only case where I do affiliate stuff is with uh, Calavazina and Amazon because people keep asking me where to buy certain things pretty regularly and uh, those are stores that I keep personally using myself and, and especially Cult of Athena I have very positive experiences with. In that case I think it's okay because I would give people those links anyway so might as well have some kind of win-win situation you know but otherwise I really don't want to do that. Okay so <laughs> what about the actual website and the materials on there? So um First of all, pugilism, what is that? That's what he's mainly focused on. Classical pugilism is basically, uh, you know, mainly 17th and 18th century boxing, sort of. I mean, it's, it's similar to boxing in many ways, but there are also quite a few significant differences. First of all, it's primarily bare knuckle. They didn't really do you know, thick gloves. Sometimes they did, but, you know, the for the most part, the, the major fights and, and competitions and such were just bare knuckle like real men you know speaking of real men you know that infamous gentleman on the internet yeah that's what he does or did so if you want to kick ass like a dapper gentleman then that's pretty much what you're interested in it's also different to modern boxing in that the rules are less restricted you are allowed to use your elbows and uh, you know, do grappling and kicks and all kinds of things okay so first when i looked at the website pugilism.org um the way it's designed did kind of trigger my alarm bells i have to say because it's this kind of sign up now for 99 pence and uh, then you have to pay a monthly fee and then you get free ebooks and ugh, that that kind of made me cringe because i've seen a lot of websites that are you know look kind of similar and try to rip people off with some crappy ebooks and whatnot in this case it seems legit i mean I don't know him personally. I've been talking to him and uh, Matt at Scola Gladiatoria has also uh, done videos with him and, and talked to him and he seems perfectly legitimate and, and he definitely knows what he's talking about. Um, it's really just, it looks a bit um, suspicious at first. When you sign up, you have to pay 99 pence first, which is $1.50. And uh, then every month it's going to be $27.50. And uh, then you have access, uh, pounds by the way, 27 pounds 50. And uh, then you get access to the, the videos. There's a bunch of videos for every month. And uh, you also get the, the ebooks. And if you want to cancel that, you can within 30 days, you can send him an email and say you, want, you don't want that and you want to cancel it. And then you know, obviously you won't be charged for the monthly fee and you can still keep the ebooks. So. The uh, Serious Striking Plus course is included in that. I looked at that and uh, the videos seem pretty good. Um, not so much in terms of video and audio quality. I mean, it's good enough that you don't have to struggle trying to understand what he's saying and that you can see what he's showing just fine. The lighting is actually pretty good. We all know that really good video and audio equipment is expensive. And I definitely like the way in which Oz explains the techniques. He's always very clear in his instructions. And uh, it's definitely useful. It's obvious that he has been studying that for a while. So he definitely knows about it. And it's the kind of thing that uh, he explains it so that someone without prior martial arts experience can 
grasp that. And it is also applicable to other martial arts, like uh, the footwork, for example, is pretty much the same as in other unarmed martial arts, as well as in Hema. And by the way, he also does swordsmanship. There is one of the eBooks is called Principal Grounds of English Martial Arts, comes in an unarmed version and in a swordsman's edition. And by the way, you can also find those on Amazon if you don't want to do this sign up, which I can totally understand. Personally, I hate monthly subscriptions. It's not my thing. But uh, yeah, you can also find them on, on Amazon. I think it was around $5 on Amazon.com at least. And yeah, I find the videos easy to follow. He also does uh, demonstrations with a partner. And uh, it's also good that he actually explains why you would do certain things. And it's not just, okay, you do this, you do that. No, it's, it's also, you know, why. And um, he presents a couple of different variations, like different stances, because there were, you know, different uh, pugilists had different philosophies. And uh, he demonstrates the different ones and then, you know, shows you often something in between that is kind of, you know, weighs the pros and cons pretty well. So kind of a, a balanced approach. And there are a couple more eBooks. Uh, one is what every martial artist should know. And uh, that deals mainly with the fundamental basics, uh, particularly also things like how do you make a fist and how do you strike? May sound you know, obvious and whatnot, but really it's, it's a good thing to look into specifically if you wanna practice bare knuckle fighting and you know, street self-defense, because that's, you can see, see that as a bit of a drawback in standard boxing. You know, they, they have their hand wraps and they have their large gloves. If you keep practicing like that all the time, you may develop habits that may lead you to injure your hand. Personally, I definitely agree that it's a good thing to train bare knuckle punches so that you don't get into these uh, gloved habits that would just potentially cause you problems in an ungloved street fight, if you will. So uh, there's a lot of good information in there. The only question is, is it worth it? Well, generally, I have to say that the, the books tend to be on the short side. For example, the What Every Martial Artist Should Know is 28 pages, and uh, it starts at page four, so you technically get 24 pages. And, uh, you know, if you just sign up for the if you just pay the 99 pence, sign up for that, and then cancel it afterwards, and it's gonna be a free one. So of course, then you cannot complain. If you were to buy it on Amazon for five bucks, it's a bit short for that. It also doesn't have a, a lot of pictures. There are some in there, but not a lot. Um, in the Principal Grounds of English Martial Arts Swordsman's Edition, there are no pictures. And it has 27 pages and starts at page five. It contains good, solid, and you know, well researched and practiced information. Don't get me wrong. It's really just a bit on the short side. So that's the main issue. Uh, also, the other uh, secrets of bare knuckle prize fighters and standing chancery. Uh, those, again, good, you know, good, solid, useful information, well presented. It's, yeah, just tends to be a little bit on the short side. And uh, especially for people in North America, it's a bit on the pricey side, simply because of the different wage level and the currency exchange rate. For example, if we take the entire course, if we take the 10 months of the Serious Striking Plus membership, uh, it's 27 pounds 50. Uh, 10 months, it's gonna be uh, 275, obviously, which is over $400. So that comes down to about 40 bucks a month for people in North America. So in other words, people elsewhere get a lot less bang for the buck. You get more bang for the pound, but not so much bang for the buck. So um, yeah, that's something to consider. But really that's the only objection that I can come up with, maybe other than you know nitpicking on the video and audio quality, but it's not really that big of a deal. He also has a YouTube channel, by the way, which I'm going to link down below. And uh, he also has quite a few videos on there. Uh, if you look at those, keep in mind that his most recent videos have the quality that he has on the website. He has some earlier videos where the, uh, the white balance is all wonky, uh, so that's not the case anymore. And I would definitely recommend checking that out. So like I said, he really knows his stuff, both about pugilism as well as English swordsmanship. 
And uh, if you live in that area, that would of course be ideal to uh, get first-hand instruction and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I think I've said pretty much everything I wanted to. Again, links down below. And um, hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.